Queen's Gambit declined, Harwitz, two knights defense. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. By using the e-pawn to protect the key d5 pawn, e6 rejects the queen's gambit. Nc3 puts more pressure on the d5 square and helps control the e4 square. B7 develops the bishop without committing the knight to f6. Nf3 controls the e5 square, advances the knight toward the center, and helps the d4 pawn. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. Bf4 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. e3 allows the light squared bishop to develop and supports the d4 pawn. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. It is the last book move. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is quite good. This protects a weak piece by trapping one of its assailants. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is best. This misses an opportunity to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is an inaccuracy. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. That's good. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This reveals an impending attack on a knight. It is ideal. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This threatens to fork pieces. It is excellent. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a great but hard to find move. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This misses a chance to suggest winning a queen. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is good. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is ideal. This blocks the attack on a rook that could have been captured. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook while also checking the king. It is best. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. 
It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. This permits the opponent to capture the checking knight. It is a mistake. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This poses a queen winning danger. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a queen. It is forced. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. This reveals an attack on a queen. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.